This is my 60 plate dry cell. I have 60 plates. Um, right now I have it wired so it can go into a 13 volt battery or 120 volt. Right now I have it hooked up as 120 volt with the power leads on either end. That way there's 2.2 volts running between every cell roughly. I'm drawing AC current using this bridge rectifier. Um, it's a 90 amp bridge rectifier. Um, and I'm drawing it straight from the circuit board right now. Um, I just did a test as it is set up right now. It is producing about four and a half liters a minute. Once it gets warmed up here, it'll go up to about five liters a minute. Um, I have it wired right now to this torch. This was a propane torch, which I just, um, I, uh, made a little spark back arrestor and then just plugged the torch right into the spark back arrestor. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and light it. There it goes. So the torch is burning. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. This torch burns at above 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'll demonstrate on this piece of copper. There's a piece of copper right here. Um, it will only take a few seconds for it to, uh, to get it red hot. So there you can see the copper is already red hot. Um, and once it's hot, if I hold the torch in one place, I could actually burn a hole right through the copper. There, it went through. The hole is through, and it will continue to burn the hole to the other side. And as you can see, the flame is now coming out of the other side of the pipe. Um, and I've melted there. See that? All right. I also have a piece of aluminum here. It melts the aluminum. Um, a bolt. This is a little bit bright when you start getting into this kind of metal, but uh. It starts to spark. Um, I've also melted glass with it. Maybe I should demonstrate. Um, glass is the hardest one to melt safely because of how brittle it is. Um, if I start heating this up, it will crack into many pieces, so it's probably not worth it. But if you come at it really slow, you can start melting the glass without it cracking into thousands of pieces. It all depends on how fast you heat it. As you can see, it's so hot that um, the metal plate that it's on is starting to, uh, I guess you'd call it sweat from the heat, the humidity in the air. There, I've actually heated up this glass without it cracking. Um, as you can see, the glass is already hot. Let me get it from the, the other side. There's the piece of glass. It's glowing. If I take the torch away, the glass is still glowing. Um, and yeah, the glass, it will melt. And this is my, uh, my setup. I've also had this in... I also have this running, this weed eater here which I will demonstrate in the next video.